the first day of school in Ukraine marred by an aerial assault as Russia launched crews and ballistic missiles into Kyiv. Fire crews doused what was left of a university sports center, a jolt of terror for students. It's simply horrible, she says. My hands are still shaking. A day children usually bring flowers to teachers, also spent cleaning debris. There's been a sharp escalation of these attacks in the last week. On Sunday, Russia hit a sports center and a shopping mall in Kharkiv, injuring dozens. In the aftermath, President Volodymyr Zelensky again appealed to world leaders to allow him to do more. To that end, Ukraine's defense minister has been doing the rounds, including a trip to Washington, seeking permission to use long-range weapons deeper in Russian territory. We have explained uh, what kind of capabilities we need to protect the citizens uh, against the uh, Russian terror that uh, Russians are causing us. So I hope we were hurt. The U.S. and other allies provided long-range weapons to Ukraine but reserved the right to restrict their use in an attempt to prevent the war from escalating. I'm just going to say it's a bunch of nonsense. These weapons would make a difference. We should lift this restriction. As the U.S. considers the request... Russia's president took time Monday to assert the recent Ukrainian incursion into its Kursk region would fail. That surprise invasion gave Ukraine a temporary boost in morale, but may have also come at the expense of its eastern front. In Pokrovsk, once a strategically important stronghold, small evacuation teams collect the elderly and the vulnerable. The city, where many in the east sought refuge at the start of the war, expected to fall imminently to Russian forces. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Washington.